today we're going to talk about the predictions for first round, who we think is going to win, what the score will be. Then we'll go into if we think any of the buy teams are overhyped or like won't make it to finals. And then we'll kind of just quickly go over who we think will make it to finals and who might take the whole thing in the playoffs. So we'll do introductions first. We'll start with Moon and then just go down the line. All right, uh, I'm Royal Moon, and I play for Serenity. Uh, I'm Save, and I play for Streaming Suns Gaming. I'm Sesho, I'm the top lane for Serenity. I'm Sneezes, I'm the head coach of uh, CBRW. And I am Unbound, I'm just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> Wait, but what team are you on? Wait, you're on a team, right? Are you on a I'm on, I'm on a... Uh, RMT, you're an R RMT, yeah. yeah. Okay, so. Oh, wait, okay. are you a mic or something? Just kind of hanging out. No, I'm a sub. <laughs> You're a sub. I'm just hanging out. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, let's start with SSG versus Riptide. So SSG, lots. Yes, I mean, a, a few, a few names in here that are one on Arisen: Roz and Sabe, Reese's, um, and then Riptide. I think Riptide is a new team. Yeah, these guys have not played in Risen before, uh, but have been in some events that we've held. So we'll start with sneezes um, between these two teams. These these are best of threes, by the way. So what's your prediction? I think this is going to be closer than it looks on paper. We my team played Riptide a little <laughs> bit, and they are kind of scrappy. They will, you know, we we had a gold lead in the early game in both sets that we came into them, and they they tend to try to take a you know hail mary play, mm -hmm. and maybe against a more polished team like SSG, they'll just clean that up and it'll be GG real quick. But I think I'm gonna go. I'm still gonna go SSG, but I think it'll be a closer series, maybe uh, three one or three two. In oh, SSG's these are favor. these are best of three, so like a oh, best two of three, one. Sorry, so yeah. Two one, yeah. Okay. I say two one SSG. All right, so Moon, what's your prediction? Oof. <laughs> Oof. All right, so <clears throat> we scrimmed SSG last week. They didn't have Sabe okay. in there, and I know Sabe is like the main shot caller, but um, they still put up like they. The SSG was Zagon, they were like scrapping a lot, like objectives, and Sabi's told me that he likes to play through macro and not really scrap a whole lot. So I have no idea with RIPT, so I guess if they like to scrap a lot, I think Sabi can control his team to be patient and let RIPT get really antsy and then use that towards his advantage mm -hmm. through uh, macro and like vision and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to go with a solid 2 0 SSG. All right, Sasso. Um, I'm probably going to go with, I mean, uh, I've played against um, Screaming Suns. I haven't really played against Tuxedos, but uh, I've heard that Joey was talking some trash. So, uh, we're <laughs> Joey, gonna, Joey does oh, talk SSG. trash. Yeah. 2-0, uh, okay. Because uh, oh, he's going to talk a bunch of trash, and then he's going to shit his mic. Yeah, he said that he was going to sweep through playoffs. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a bold statement. Did he say that in banter, or was it just like... Yeah, he said that oh, in okay. banter, and then I was that. just like, wait, who are you again? <laughs> the meta might favor them a little bit, though. If SSG plays... Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm jumping in here. Yeah. If SSG plays a controlled style, then, you know, I, I wonder who's going to capitalize on this flex pick meta where you have, like, Akali and Irelia being in either top or mid. I think I mean, the meta's a lot different than it was in the I regular season. Hell no, man. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think anyone can control I mean, Reese. Sabe can't control Kim either, and he's just going to show up in top lane five minutes in and get a kill, and it's just going to spiral <laughs> out of control from there. Well, well, Kim's, really uh, good at, Kim's really good at roaming. Yeah. Like, uh, he, he is good, but the dude does not stop roaming. Like, he's alley I yeah. hope you're, you're, you're ADs 2v1ing the whole game, so <laughs> Yeah, I mean, our, our AD is more than capable of that, like, for sure, so... Gonna... All right, well, um, Unbound. All right, I have to go with my boy Joey H here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. I'm a, I'm a big Joey H fan. There's a lot of Joey H fans. They're always there in. Are. I'm surprised so... they're not in Twitch chat right now. Um, what... I, I, I'm going to have to go 2-1 to uh, Rip Tuxedo. All right. And is it because of Joey H? Or is it? Just because of Joey H. He's going to dominate. <laughs> he's going to carry. He plays um, jungle, right? A... This is the Rampage League, not the Dominate League, so sorry, oh, that's I guess not good right. enough. I guess you're going to Rampage, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we know what Sabi's going to say, but let's... I mean, let's yeah, it's like, prediction. he's calling the 2-0 for Tuxedo. Sure for I'm absolutely obligated to say 2-0 SSG, but like, aside from that, <laughs> some background information, 
either we scrimmed them or we played them for an ALI spot. And I, I, I'm not sure which one it was, but that's like exactly the point. It wasn't very memorable, was it? <laughs> Who's carrying on your team? <laughs> if you think it's a two. -way? Um, it doesn't like it's. We cannot single out any one carry because all of our laners are just gonna win lane. Everyone's gonna make a make Joey a money bag, and it's just gonna be. Will Reese win? Wins, will will win Reese's win minutes. lane? Reese's, yeah, Reese's will win lane. They're, they're, you, they're just you, totally outclassed at every. You said position. you can't control him. Yeah, because he's so much of a beast. Like it's so, <laughs> he goes so ham, and then he just like. <sighs> Cracked, cracked inhib at... No, I'm, I'm I'm actually serious. I'm pretty sure we played against this team. Oh. And we, cra we cracked inhib at like 18 minutes. Reese's either cracks the inhib or he like cracks the skin. <laughs> what took you so long? That's that's actually so fast because he plays for the it used to be R21, but the CCS team for like I guess our new org now, and he's What's a coin flip right now. But like when he when he gets going, like there's no stopping him for sure. Like, he can get pretty scary, but you just gotta make sure that you know how to play around him. Yeah, I think with Reese's, you just have to, like, enable him. And if you do enable him, yep. he'll probably, like, you'll see probably see a return on your investments. But, mm -hmm. uh, with, I think Rift T, like, they like to scrap, but I don't think they have, like, any semblance of macro. I'm pretty sure they, like, try to base race us when we had five people down bot, and we just ended up cracking in at 18 minutes, so. They try to base race at 18 minutes? Yeah, like like we had Rift Herald and we like just Rift Herald down three turrets. It was Classic. it was really whack. Classic I respect mistake. it. I've seen it too many times. <laughs> I mean, I Classic. saw that in bronze, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll go two one for SSG. I'll give one to my boy Joey H. Um, but I do think SSG just has the better players in multiple roles um, <laughs> and macro wise from watching them as well. Oh uh, yeah, I mean I agree that at Rift that they're scrappy, but I don't. I don't know if that can be better map. Sleeping I don't know. on Joey. Maybe SSG will trip up and that. I, I mean, it's I possible. It's possible to the, trip uh... up. Hey, yeah, I, I mean, I've had some yeah. pretty bad carpal tunnel lately, so maybe my hands would fall off. <laughs> hey, I'm giving one for Joey H. I'm giving <laughs> the one I game. I think they should be considered the favorite, but I wouldn't be surprised if RIPT took no, a game. No, but if, I mean, yeah, if they took a game, I wouldn't be surprised yeah. either. All right, yeah. well, let's explore. This is Atlas Gaming. Who is on Atlas? I know some of the people. Oh, Atlas. no. Oh, we got Krucko, we got new Black Jones. So many, so many names. Preacher Boy. Is this, um, is Daddy Atlas? Who is this? That's, I... that's still worst he's support. The, yeah. is, is this the he's Thresh the, Jungler? He's the, the Thresh, the oh thresh my Jungle gosh. player. Right. Yeah. You, you yes. already know who I'm picking. The okay, Thresh then... everywhere. <laughs> Howling Gale. Um, also, lots of. Oh, I've played it. SG. Uh, I think t 2 Teeth has played in Risen before. Ajax is also familiar. Madrew. Oh, so, Ajax is good. Uh, is he the starter? Um, I think so. I'd have to check and see if he's played games, but I think he's a starter. I'm not sure. I know he's played in Risen before, so I would I've assume he is. Interesting. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I can check while we're talking. So we'll, I'll check while Sneezes is giving his yes. prediction. No problem. So I have no context for either of these teams. We didn't scrim them. I haven't played them. Um, but looking at the kind of competition and seeing kind of how the divisions played out you know again going in super blind i'm gonna go um two one for ssg or hgg, HGG. excuse me two one hgg <laughs> um simply because i think they played stiffer competition and will be in better form okay uh, but again like... i have no context so it looks like ajax does play for them he's played a, a top game i thought he was a mid laner though I thought you, uh, he's a mid laner. Yeah, I know. he's played some mid yeah. and some top for them. Not every game, but he does play for them sometimes. Okay. Um, so Moon, what's your prediction? All right, so I love my boys over there in Atlas, but uh, <laughs> they lost all their carries since they ranked out. My boy, my boy oh, Tay, no. he ranked out oh. this past. I think he ranked out like two two ish weeks ago, and he was like their main carry. He was usually the one who would <clears throat> play through bot side. And get bot lane ahead before their main AD ranked out. But since they both ranked out, I'm gonna have to go with the 2-0 and HGG. Thresh troll Thresh just trolls too much in this <laughs> for him for his team to be like really viable. But um yeah, yeah definitely definitely 2 0 HGG. Alright, Sessa. So uh so my buddy Moon here, he told me I wasn't allowed to talk shit about his daddy. So uh <laughs> we we gotta just, you know, throw something in there and we're gonna go with the Atlas gaming. Yeah, yeah. Two oh, one. Shit. Okay. Yeah. 
why does okay. that I'm, I'm in okay. a pretty similar place as Sneezes. I don't have too much experience with them. I've played Atlas once in Blue Water, I think, and they did pretty well, but uh, you know, the, the Thresh mid can just uh, sometimes get you. He plays Thresh mid too. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, uh, he plays Thresh everywhere. I've seen him play Thresh jungle. <laughs> I've never seen Thresh mid. What, what does he build Thresh, thresh mid? Can we break down the Thresh mid pick? I really want to Please understand. Um, <laughs> Alright, so I can't really... Said it's uh, last good. time... Conqueror? Are did we he, talking Conqueror? Did he conqueror? build Shiv? Uh, uh, no, he didn't go that. He just plays Thresh he with Ignite. Full and then oh, he does? Oh, goes grasp, I see. Okay. He goes Grasp, uh -huh. and then he rushes ZZ Rot. Does Whoa. he just roam? Oh, really? Is he just like roaming around the map? Yeah. Okay. No, like he. I don't like. I. I don't really know how he plays. The only time I really played against it was like in in houses. Okay. But like out of the times, I would see like ancient coin into bramble vest into ZZ rot every time. <laughs> <laughs> See, I would have thought yeah. it would have been something like a Moby Boots into Righteous Glory just to be like run up on people, but <laughs> oh, I mean, no, that's no, no, awful no, no. too. But this is a whole nother level. Rush is just Elo sitting in silver. Rush is Elo sitting. Honestly, yeah. Huh. All right, unbounce. All right. So if we do see Thrush Jungle or Thrush Mid, <laughs> I think it's an easy two over. <laughs> I agree. Game. I agree. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> but if we don't, but if we don't. Then it's gonna be. I just think it's two one Atlas gaming. Oh okay. Um, I gotta give it to the boys at Atlas. Is there anyone else on that team that is caring in your opinion? Besides like on Atlas. Uh, yeah, like who? I mean, who else? Bad vibes. They got see. bad vibes forever. They he's have just, Black he's Jones. Just solid AD. Yeah, I don't know the. I don't know the. Yeah, Black Jones is like, bad. I I know them because like I know Black Jones from his. I don't know bad vibes though. Or. I know Black Prince. Jones from Chosen. <laughs> from Chosen. <laughs> yeah. Black Jones is a uh, orn dog. He does play out of orn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh hey, nothing wrong with that. Pour one out for the dead yep. champion. <laughs> what are you talking about? Orm is so good right now. All right, we'll stop it. Best champion in game. Okay, um, a secret build I'm not aware of. All right, so I'm not as familiar with Atlas. I, I'm a little bit confused. Weren't they eight and two? Uh. Uh oh, yeah, I think they only lost the surrender. Yeah. So why are like. Why are, why is there so many people putting HUG above them? I don't know. Uh, because <laughs> they lost. Uh, yeah, I think they lost him John. Curious. He was their main jungler. He ranked out. He was like a Rek'Sai one trick basically, and nobody figured out that you know he only plays Rek'Sai, <laughs> so he would hard carry with the AD on Rek'Sai, and then they had a previous AD who ranked out, and it was basically him and Tay who would just hard carry like every game, and that's and, they would just play through those two. So those two players ranked out. Just do their thing. Yeah, both of them ranked out. Do they like have they visibly played worse or something or? Um, well, as soon as we saw the AD rank out, we just figured that out that bad vibes wasn't like as the same AD, and then we just figured out that if we can deny them playing through bot lane and then abuse like the better solo lane factors, then we could just deny Tay from being able to play through any lane really, and that's what we kind of did. So, and then we just easily two owed them both games, like okay. in twenty three minutes. So, uh, so HUG's in our division, I think, yeah. And we've played them a few times. They're pretty good. They're... Let's see, we, we... I think we lost to them 1-2 to two when I was still jungling, which is, like, a downgrade in both positions. Um, But then we had no problem when I switched to mid and Owen went jungle. So I think it'll be 2-1... Atlas gaming, probably. I think, okay. yeah. Because, I mean, just if a team's A and 2, I feel like I have to give them, like, daps for that, even if, like, people have uh, ranked out. And HEG definitely has, like, they're a scrappy team with, like, decent macro, but I don't see anything, like, super noteworthy, I guess. Alright, let's see. What's <coughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go two one ag for for the thrush jungle. <laughs> and also, I think like preacher boys. Preacher boys support, right? He plays support. Yeah. I think preacher boys. Yeah. I think preacher boys is like a decent support. He's a good support. Um. Yeah, he's got a he's got a solid Lulu. Yeah, he's a, he's a good support. I like this Lulu. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go two one. Actually, for... I'm I'm gonna. What What'd you say? For I want to change my prediction to two one to h uh two one still so hgg though. Okay. I'm change it to two one. They're gonna get Thresh Jungle one game and just 
Carrie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't lose. <laughs> so next is our two teams that I'm pretty sure are just new to Risen. Like, I don't think United Apes has played here before. And who's on Krusty Krug? I don't think they've played. Yeah, I don't think either of these teams have There's played in Risen before. Crusty. So they're two new teams. Um, Krusty Krug. I don't know any of these people. United Apes. I've watched him on stream, but I don't know who any of these people are either. Except I think I've seen Dwayne Charles in here before. Um, so, Sneezes, <clears throat> what's your prediction? For so, UAM was in my division. Mm -hmm. um, they, I think they made some roster changes in the last like two or three weeks of the season. It seemed like it shored them up a lot. I think early in the season, they were kind of a weak link. They might have even started the season with like zero or one win in the first half, and then they just came on strong in the back half. So um, I'm going to go 2-0 UAM. I don't know anything about KP KKP, but I think they've gotten better. I think UAM's gotten better, and the players they've added are better than the players they had. Huh. Right. I don't know how far that'll carry them, but I think it'll carry them through this Wait, week. Wait, it looks like KKP is only in playoffs because all the yeah, other... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Dropped out. Yeah. <clears throat> So with that uh, moon, geez, I don't, I don't know if that. If they could like they could <laughs> be like a middle tier rampage open team, or they could be like. I don't know. Good. I don't think I've. I don't know if I've no. seen them play. I mean, what do you? Wait, wouldn't that mean that they've lost every single game that they've actually played, and then the, the wins that they have gone are FF ones? Uh, I mean, it's possible they, they played a have, team like, at the beginning one. of a season that you dropped out after. Look at the schedule. I don't know. You have to look at the schedule. Childhood. That was one of the RM team, RMT teams last year that we played in the finals. I don't, I forget if it was Linear Solar, but yeah, they like won one game and then like they went five and five, and the four wins that they got were from at that. Yeah, you never know. But um, <laughs> RMT right, Solar so... reincarnated. <laughs> um, I don't know. This one's like I'm kind of in the same boat, I guess, because I remember seeing UAM kind of doing really well in the the qualifiers. Grand Prix, they went like I think they only dropped like a game, I yeah, think. They did. And then yeah. even in that one game, they they still played pretty well. In that one game, and then <clears throat> I kind of like expected them to like be a top two team after staying that, and then I saw that they were kind of like the third seed. And Sneezer said that his team like played them for the tiebreaker. So, and then I have no idea about KKP, but from what I read, well, from what Sess and I researched. I think the teams are pretty roughly even, I think, but I I think I have to agree with Sneezes that UA, UAM has the edge. I'll go 2-1 UAM, for sure. KKP beat PS and INB from what I'm seeing on the schedule, and it looks like those were all in the last three weeks. So one was in the third to last week, and one was in the last week. So they're kind of on the upswing, and they're, you know, to be fair to them. Mm -hmm. But they did get a lot of wins via FF. So I'm going to be honest, I have no idea about either of these teams. But uh, that being said, my boy Scoliosis Steve is going to carry KKP to a 2-0 victory. We're just staking it on the random guy because he's got a good name. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good name. <laughs> what about you, Unbound? Uh, so I scrimmed against KKP early in the season with my original Rampage Open team. And they play, they draft really cheesy, from what I know. So, and I don't know anything about UAM. So, I honestly don't know. I think I'm gonna go two one KKP. Scoliosis Steve cheese. coming in. Yeah. yeah, the cheese is coming. In. All right. So, so get that mic out of your mouth, dude. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. I don't really know anything about UAM either. And I think the only thing I know about KKP is that Owen's brother is on it. I think he joined oh, the last two or three weeks, which might be the reason for their upswing, because I know he's a really good ADC. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna rep my my boy Owen's brother, Simon, and, and say Steve. two two one KKP. No, let's let's make it a two zero. Let's make let's make it spicy. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him credit. Yeah. Um, no, Steve, Steve, zero. Zero. Steve's only got scoliosis because he's carrying oh, yeah. so hard, it's just <laughs> it's twisting <true>. his back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go UAM. I mean, like, I, I agree that when I watched them during plans, it seemed like they were very dominant. Um, and, like, and they still have, I mean, what they went. Where, where are they? 
they went six far. I mean, like that's it's not terrible. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bank on the 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 plans team coming out for playoffs for UAM. Yeah. So last up for first round we have PS who was Poro Snacks. I think um, I think all these people are new as well. And then we have where is society? Society. Oh, Amen's on this team. On um, which team? Pete Poro Snacks. Amen. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Is he a starter? I don't know. Um, oh no. Amen. Amen's a really good uh, Nidalee Nidalee player. Oh okay. <gasps> Didn't Poro Snacks that play in ALI? Fucking... Did that? <laughs> or did this guy That's play? In... Did this guy play in ALI? That might be why I recognize his name. No, Amen was. Amen was in ALI. A Amen was on. I think the, they the, played in ALI. It just wasn't under Risen. They were on the other Zero Gravity team that uh, yeah, that got knocked out in. It was uh Astro. Quarter? I think it was Astro. Okay. Knocked out quarters. Yeah, I was gonna say the same sounds familiar to me. I don't know if it's the same. Sabe, roster wasn't it? Or... Wasn't it on Astro? Astro Who? New Horizon. Amen. Was he on that Amen. team? Amen was a new. Well, he was on the one that wasn't Team Overdrive. Like the other, the other Zero Gravity team that was not Team Overdrive. <laughs> That was Team Poro okay, Snack. Yeah, Anyways, it, it was it. Poro Snack was oh, the wait, other is, team. Wait, is this a Zero Gravity lineup too? Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. It was sense. the Team Zero Gravity Sen. Okay. Other cool. than the community team that went Mental Boom, and I. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that that was great. <laughs> I was down to play the last match, and they're all just like, "We're out." <laughs> I'm like, you're, you're like untiltable somehow, so. Just. Play with enough shitters long enough and you learn it. Right, you we'll harden like a metapod. Once you play with uh once you play with Moon a couple times, you just realize oh he's gonna throw some caps. <laughs> Wait, what? What'd you say you were like <laughs> roboting there for me? What once you play a couple games with Moon, you, you realize he's just gonna throw some winnable games and <laughs> when uh when when you guys play yep, yep, yep. in finals, can you put Sesso in the lineup? I'm I'm the only top laner we got. Thank yeah, God. Yeah, he's the only top laner we got. I actually think we have a chance now. <laughs> Damn. I mean, we did 3-0. You guys only scrimmed him, so scrimmed SSP. I, so. I mean, it was clearly a vital piece. In you guys did a best of five. Scrims. You guys, you guys had an upgrade. No, in we did a, uh, that, uh, whatever that other mid laner that you guys play is. Zagon. Yeah, yeah Zagon. No, we, we did a block. We did a three block. Oh, okay. We did, it. and we were just testing out different comps. All right, well, sneezes. Who do you think? I just got to go record here. I didn't play either team, so give give me PS two zero. All right, Moon. Oh my God, SPM! Jesus Christ, these guys are a cancer team to play against. <laughs> Why? Are they good totally. or bad? okay? They were Hard the mid. only team in our group to give us issues, and. So we the first game that I played against these guys, this was when Cardi was and Toddy were still on the team. And game one was probably the biggest clown fiesta of a game I've ever played. Like we couldn't touch their 80s, so he was just running around in circles on Jin. And then we played him again earlier, like the second round. And we fell behind really hard against these guys somehow. I don't even know how, but we did. But we came back. I think it was through QR and Sesso. I think they hard carried. And then, I don't know, these guys can, like, if they get ahead early, then they can, like, ramp up super quick. I think these guys are really, like, what's the word? Electric, electrifying team. They're really extremely volatile. But from what they're saying, that Poro Snacks is A-man. Like, I don't know. A-man's so good. He's in CCS, and he's so good. Is he only good on Italy, though, like, or is he good on other here. things? No, he, he has a very solid kindred too, from what okay. I've seen. So I think he's a really. I don't know. This was this was really sample. tough. Yeah, he yeah. does have a very large sample. This one's really tough, honestly. Is this, is this the match I, of the week? I honestly, yeah, it might be. I don't know. I think. Oh man. I'm just. I don't, I honestly don't know. I think I'm gonna have to go two one SPM. Okay. I think. No, that was. Oh, I'm going with a uh, 2-1 SPM. Apparently, we had problems with them earlier in the season, but then I just came on and trounced them. Uh, our jungle had a, what is this, 14-0 and 22 across the whole series in the second round, so. Yeah, he had a 36 KDA that, that two-game series that we had. BLS did. It's pretty nutty. <laughs>
Yeah. Pretty... Uh, just Trundle. Yeah. You know, he just trolls them pretty hard. That's about all there is to it. They tried to they tried to pull out a Jarvan in the top lane. Oh. Like, I mean, it's a good cheese pick. Yeah, that's cheesy. Pike mid that match too, so. Okay, but that's, oh, yeah, I that's that. better now Pike though. Fizz. They predict it. Did they predict the pike mid? Yeah, thank. The... Ahead of the curve. Ahead yeah, Kiora, the... We weren't sure what it was, and then Kiora, Kiora picked. Ahead of the meta. That was pike mid. Yeah. All right. And then I'll... I remember BLS running circles and then dodging everything. Else. Yeah. BLS just out trolled. and say, Poro snacks will go uh, two one in this series. Okay. I'm not too sure. About either of these teams, I don't pay as much attention to a pre-made. Mm -hmm. I do all the uh, open content, but uh, I think I'll go for us next because they played an ALI, and I'm sure that the uh, that kind of gave them the opportunity to learn some things. All right, Sabe. Um, not sure. I could honestly flip a coin. I know who Amen is, and mm -hmm. I know he's really good. But the thing is about jungle i feel like that role is highly dependent on your lanes so if your lanes aren't like are getting dumped on then it can be really miserable to play uh play jungle like you basically don't have guaranteed creeps and farm yeah, depends on, if you're playing kindred yeah it's not gonna feel good if your yeah. uh, lanes are getting i feel Shut like I'm trying to remember i'm trying to think back to ali assuming that it's just about the same roster i think Pro snacks is like, it's good, but they're not. Like they have counterplay for sure. So, if SPM really gave Serenity that much trouble with a oh, stack roster, then I'm probably gonna say two zero SPM, because best of threes are very short. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was back when we had the bad roster. <laughs> for oh, me. Sesso, even, even <laughs> when you were there, like they even like trounced us like early into mid game too, but we just like. Team fought I mean, our way really hard back into the game. I mean, and then we just we like ended up winning the game at like, like... 35, 40 minutes. I mean, so are they? Are they like a really? Oh wait, good that game? was when. Oh wait, that was also the when my ping was being poop and I didn't have any comms, and then Bang accidentally took Klepto Brom. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> that's so... right. <laughs> The the gold lead never got they never got higher than a two k gold lead on us like they they just yeah that's right they were just, in, and then we yeah. just smashed them are, are like, they like a really strong early, early game team um I'm gonna wait focus can expose SPM right here right now I mean yeah go for it <laughs> that's what we're here all right, for so I mean you, people have all right Poro but... snacks don't give away picks yeah, but yeah but... I mean don't give away scrim no, 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 okay no. not scrim if there's like secret scrim picks but like if it's just so you can look up at match results oh no. Then... It's just like it's just like it's literally like bands. Like if you look at bands, if you just ban out Poppy, Jin, Ramus, you'll win, like straight up. Like that. That's how you. Yeah, beat we them. did that's that every we, single we figured time. Out the bands and then we we did that ever like Poppy, after Jin, game Ramis. two the first time we played them. Dude, Poppy, Jin, Ramus. If you ban out them. those three, we you would literally you could probably roll them. I hope easily. somebody from society is here because we just gave them a free win. But <laughs> I don't I don't think any of them are. <laughs> no. I mean, it's their loss. No. I mean, there's seven people in the podcast, and we have like five people here. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. I got a, got a, I got a few people here. Maybe they'll relay the message. Arch is here. Arch is any, here. I think Solbert was here. Got anybody in the Twitch chat? Here. <laughs> um, I'll go two o, SPM, just because I know a couple of people on that team, and if they gave Stranity some trouble early. Back, back before we had the good top line. Yeah, but you guys are yeah. super good. So if they gave you, if they gave you trouble, even with a not as good version of Serenity, I, I believe, have I be believe that they can beat Poro Snacks. They were up by like 15 kills at one point. <laughs> oh gosh. And then they were just kind of yeah. It was it was it was it was a bit rough. It was a bit rough, but uh, Sesso yeah, and Kira turned so. it on, and then we team fought our way back. What do you guys think is the best like early game team here? I mean, is it not tooting us. our horn to let say me, us? Let me, let me pull oh, it come on, I mean, come on, dude! It's, it's not us. It's come not on. us. You gotta be confident. <laughs> we're the best. It's... We're the best late game team fighting team, hundred percent. It's nobody that my team played. I think because uh... <laughs> we're Man, bad at early game SSG and then really nobody smashed the, us early. SSG really likes to scrap early. Like that's our whole play style is contest every every scuttle and every early objective. 
we uh we beat RMTE with the, with their like OP roster in like 22 minutes game one, something like that. Oh yeah, I remember that. So well, let's move that. let's move, was... let's talk about. Are there any teams from in round two that are like overhyped, that aren't that aren't making it? Today? I heard Smash Barns are is underhyped. I heard I heard they're I they're heard, like I think Smash Barns is oh. really good. You yeah. can talk about underhyped. So we can, one we can talk about overhyped and underhyped. So are there any I think it's overhyped? They're, they're like the ones with teams? the loss. Yeah. Out of those four. But are there I think any... RMTE is for sure overhyped. Okay, so you don't think they're making it to finals? Um, I mean, I mean, well, I mean, they have to. No, play. they're not. It's they're just, not making. It's Serenity. Would well, you think they're making it to semis at least? Maybe. I don't know. You, you think SPM I mean, might take well, it? Might take it to them? Like, I don't know. I think mean, RMT for one? sure makes it to semis. Like, no way they don't. They'd have to like. Well, actually, that's not true. If they camp Dallas and Dallas like front lines over and over again, it's possible. Uh, yeah, if you watch, um, if we had any sort of our team CCS VODs, Jesus Christ, you could figure out what the hell Dallas is doing wrong in a heartbeat. Yeah, because Dallas is ADC now. But, uh, yeah, he's yeah. not jungling. The thing is, like, Dallas is, like, the exact opposite of what Travis is. So Travis is, like, a very, like, I, I, don't, I don't really consider him, like, a hypey player. He's, like, he's a big voice on the team. He's got great macro sense, and he plays like, a clean, safe game. Dallas is like feast or famine. He's like the Reese's. Yeah, Reese's played eighty carry. So. <laughs> He's the Reese's of botling. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. I agree with that, hundred percent. I I can um, see that. I think like, it's not to say like, not to say Dallas has got like no merit. I think he. I think he actually has a pretty decent grasp of the game in terms of macro. Uh, team fights. He's just a little bit over aggressive. But if the team plays around that, he really like he really has like a penchant for getting kills on himself. Which can in turn pay dividends later on. So I don't know. It's hard to say. It's a good thoughts though. But in this case, you have top is easily tiltable, and bot is also easily tiltable. And I've never, I don't, I don't know any anything about spikes, so I won't speak ill of them. But if you have like really easily tiltable top and bot, it can be really troublesome. I mean, if you play solo queue and boss tiltable, you already know how it goes, so. O10, baby. Focus knows all that way too much. I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, Focus is, is asking to, like, FF all my ARAMs a -rams and play with her. Wait, ARAMs? <laughs> yeah, you, you told us. Oh, wait. I don't no, do ARAMs. Not, not ARAMs, not ARAMs. <laughs> not ARAMs. <laughs> not ARAMs. <laughs> Come on, man. Wait, and norms? I only do norms when people seem just super tilted and like they're not having fun. I'm like, let's just FF and go to the next one. But I only do that if it just seems unwinnable. Because it's just a norm. That's true. It doesn't matter if you win or lose. Um, so any other overhyped or underhyped teams? We said Smash Bar might be an underhyped team. Does anyone know anything about w WNBA All-Stars? So, um, so we played them. I think they have solid players at all their positions. Um, but they, so for the record, right, they smashed us, but I felt like we played really bad both weeks against them and just stylistically they matched up against us very well. They also smashed everyone else in our group, but I felt like they were winnable even more so than some of the other teams. Like I thought that we would take a series off them, but we didn't. And so maybe I just underestimated them. I think they're solid. I think they're really consistent. They kind of play very even. Like some some of the teams in our division would like pop off in game one and then just in and we would come back and win. Um but they're you know, they're very even. I think they've been playing together for a long time. I don't know if they were in Risen before or not. I don't think they um, were. I don't recognize their names. But I get the sense that they've been together for a while. Um so I th I think you know, I'm trying not to give like strats and picks away. Obviously, the playoff teams are capable of doing their research, but I mean, I'm I think they're probably a little bit under the radar, and could surprise somebody with some of their picks. So it seems like the two teams yeah. on the top half kind of are not as hyped as like Serenity. I mean, they're just not as well known, I guess, as RMT. Wait, can I see who's Smash Bros. Yeah. real quick? Yeah. Yeah, I uh, guess yeah. that makes sense. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> here they are. All right, first off, uh, Sesso, you need to get that mic out of your mouth again, buddy. Uh, 
Uh, it's 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 starting to get a little annoying, not gonna lie. But uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm uh, guy XL. That's the guy's name. Yeah, we <laughs> we were gonna scrim Smash Barn, but like they it didn't like pull through because apparently like they didn't get the full roster. And then we we're gonna apparently like I think Kira said two or three of their players I think ranked out. I think, but um, I'm not a, I'm not sure what the quite exact number <laughs> is of how many people ranked out. They do have a couple of empty out. spots in there. Yeah, the roster sheet. And then we were gonna scrim them with like the people who ranked out and stuff. But um, yeah, I don't know. I honestly think that we might be a little bit overhyped. I'm not gonna lie. Really? I think we might be a little bit overhyped. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't know what the exact reason is, <laughs> but um, I just get this feeling that like it's just like the RMT like Serenity matchup in semis again. True. Like just like last year, it's just like I think it's like hyping up a lot of stuff. When it doesn't really need to be, I think definitely WNBA and Smash Farm can. I think they could definitely take take us both like head to head in a five game and take us to five games. I think for sure. Okay. But I don't know. I think if Serenity gets going in games, I think we're we're pretty we're pretty unstoppable. I think, but that's just me overhyping us. So we'll we'll see what happens for sure. Well, let's go let's go down the line before we end. So we'll start with Mood. Who do you think? Who are the two teams in finals? Who, and who do you think's taking it all? Oof. Um, Trinity. Obviously, we're gonna we're gonna take that. I'm going back to back. So, <laughs> um, we're gonna we're they're gonna if I, if we don't make it, we're gonna lose two three to RMT. Okay. And then we're gonna beat RMT either three zero or three one. And then I think SSG can make a finals run maybe. So, okay. do you have to go through Smash Barn? Is that you have to go through or WNBA? Uh, it's, uh, Smash, it's Smash Barn, Smash Barn and, then, and then WNBA because I don't, I don't think there's any conceivable way that, like, oh, that's right, five, five, like Atlas or HEG can beat WNBA. Yeah. So, so um. Oh, you can keep going. Man. Um. Honestly, I think it's gonna be us and Smash Barn. I think, and then we're gonna beat Smash Barn three one. Okay. So. Sabe. Um, I mean, I guess I have to say <laughs> SSG finals. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to say, like, I'm just going to go with the team I think is the easiest to beat in finals. Just so like, I'm gonna say, let me get this team. Yeah, RMTE <laughs> in finals. <laughs> and then SSG camps, mm -hmm. camps bottom top, and then we win. 3-0, three, three, <laughs> three <zero, yeah. laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. All right, Sasso. Uh, so as much as I want my boy Scoliosis Steve to get to the finals, uh, it's definitely it's Serenity versus either Smash Barn or Screaming Sun. Okay. There's a lot of. But, it looks like there's a lot of uh, Screaming Suns. Yeah, I mean, like it's just because even with the downgrade from Zagan to Sabe, they still have an okay team. <laughs> So. Downgrade. Did did the gun? Did got the gun? Solo kill mystical. I mean, the gun did win a blue water league. Yeah, I mean it's hard he because did. you you uh you shot call over me and they're terrible calls. <laughs> Yikes! All right, sneezes. I honestly don't know enough about the league as a whole to make a finals prediction that I think that holds any merit. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna say. That I think, um, I think WNBA could surprise somebody, and I wouldn't be surprised if they at least made it to the finals on an upset. Okay. What about you, Unbound? And I obviously gotta go with the RMT boys. I think they'll make the final, even with all the rankouts. I think they'll definitely make it. And for the other side of the bracket, I gotta go. I think with Smash Barn. I don't know a lot about them, but I think they're the dark horses tournament. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. Even, even though they're though even they're, though they're, even though they're nine and one, they're definitely yeah. they're, they're, they're a dark horse. I think their their one game that they lost was an FF. But... Yeah, it was. Oh, so, okay. So they would have been. Yeah, in my eyes, they're like Ooh, on they're equal power levels to everyone. <laughs> so technically, they they are ten zero if they yeah. would actually play. That. Essentially, they're undefeated. Probably, yeah. yeah. They would have. Can assume they would have won. Yeah. yeah, I think Smash Burn is. I would also say Dark Horse. It seems weird to say that because they got a buy and they were at the top of their group. Um, but I guess it's just because no one really talks about the upper side as much with like. Smash yeah, it's always WBA. about like a RMT or Serenity. Yeah. You don't hear about like, uh, WNBA. Or it Smash is. Barn. It is. 
I will say well, RMT, from. RMT is a return team from last year, and they basically took both their like sister teams and smashed them together more or less. Yeah. But uh, we poached Kiora from RMT, and then Cardi just brought me back from last year since we made a really, really good finals run. And then we picked up Seso after Toddy went mental boom after game one. So, and then we just picked up BLS from uh, DLC Loli. So, yeah, we're we're just like, both those teams are just really, really well known, more or less from last year, I guess. Yeah. I will say that if Smash Barn does beat us in the uh, in round two, because no way we like lose in round one. Um, <laughs> if they do Joey. beat us in round two, Joey. he's coming. <laughs> I actually would root for them to beat Serenity in the finals. Like they're just the they're, they're just the uh, the pick that I would want to win. Everyone wants. And to I don't like I don't know horse. if it's yeah I don't know if it's realistic, but I would love to see uh, Serenity don't crowd say favorites. It. Don't say it. Smashed by the underdog. Don't say it. Smash Get smashed by Smash like, Barn. Smashed by Smash <laughs> Barn. Yeah, I also think Smash Barn is the best name in the league. I love that name. Yeah, they do. They have, that's a good name. It is a good I agree. Name. I honestly who's, agree. Who's the best logo though? Uh, uh snacks. What's don't their, they, uh, don't they have it? They have a. Also... I think. Wait, I thought someone else wasn't there. I think this team maybe didn't get it. In. Oh, Boba. Okay, Team Boba Boys, best logo in the league. They dropped out. I haven't seen. Oh one no, yeah, they, but yeah, they, they have. They, have, they have a good snacks. logo. Like snacks. Four snacks is cute too, but I think Boba had the best logo, even though they're not. What? No, really? I mean, Chubby Babies out? and Scum Gang, good logos too. They're not in the league, but Scum Gang was not in here. Rampage only. Risen Rampage. <laughs> but right. no, Scott, they do have a good logo, too. Alright, well, thanks for joining, guys. It was fun getting to hear your predictions. Me, it was fun. Who you think might be in finals. Um, we'll probably do a podcast before finals. SSG 3 against RMT. <laughs> Cardi here for first place. We'll, we'll see in a few weeks. We'll talk about it on the <laughs> podcast before finals, and we'll get to do predictions, and like we'll probably like compare players as well. Um, so thanks, guys, Sick. and thanks for watching. Um, everyone have a good evening. Bye, friends.